Alright guys, back from holidays, got the nice suntan, uh, cruiser's still sitting here, hasn't moved much. Um, really nice day, I wanted to go for a fly because I've flown for about 10 days now. But first step, I've got an annual inspection to do on the jab, 100 hourly, so I'll pull that out, get that done. Just called in quickly to check on everything, got my daughter here watching uh, Sesame Street. So, duck home, get some brownie points and we'll go from there. Okay, take three on the throttle cable. This is the one, yes, yeah, this is the third one I've ordered. So with the friction knob, fantastic. However, my 48 inch cable is two meters 20 long, so it's over 80 inches long. I'm um, looking at all the paperwork, 48 inch black knob cable. I also ordered the ends for quarter 28 that's advertised but this is 1032 luckily off cable number one or number two I've got some 1032 ball links that'll screw onto this Bowden cable this is getting a bit of a joke look how long it is a um, couple of options so this is one of the issues we face with being in Australia so I've got this long um, throttle cable you know it's going to cost me 60 70 dollars to send it back to aircraft spruce in America. Um, I guess I might just might install it. If I install it and just put a loop in it, uh, we'll see how that goes, take up the slack. This is my third throttle cable now and it's not even installed yet. Alright guys, so where are we tonight? Um, I was out here last night till midnight. Got some renovations going on at home. I found myself spread a bit thin I guess lately. Um, been away for 10 days on a holiday, poor me, went and sat on the beach for a while. Um, come back, builders have gone nuts at home, um, trying to sort out house renovations. Want to go for a fly but got to do the servicing on the Jabiru. So the poor old uh, cruiser over there, um, what are we calling it this week? Let's go with Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, uh, she hasn't been touched, I'll give you a quick look if you like. So that's where we're up to on the cruiser, it's all in one piece. Doors have been on. If you remember the last video, we fitted the cowl. Um, I'm ready to, itching at the bit to get in, I'll do some anchor nuts, um, fill that gap, make it sweet. The green tape on there is me just uh, daydreaming with my colour scheme. So I'm going with the RAF CT4, which I designed up here, and uh, one of the gentlemen online um, offered to colour me this in, but it was sort of a 701 roughly converted to a cruiser, and that's a factory cruiser. So, yeah, poor old cruiser, she's just waiting there. Don't worry, buddy, I'll get you in a minute, um, but a little bit often. So, then I've just been uh, getting stuck in on the Jabiru. So, it's all aviation, I guess. Only the Jabiru, every 25 hours, drop the oil, change the filter. Uh, so 50 hours, 75 hours. Um, now I've got a brand new Gen 4 engine, so it's 100 hours old now. Um, good as brand new. The Gen 4 is slightly a bit different. Yeah, I know there's a heap of Jabiru experts out there, but don't quote me on this, just check your manuals. But the Gen 4 manual, as of today's date, um, is what I'm following. Being an ex Air Force guy, um, still got my I can, it's a fairly basic sort of servicing. Still got my checklist, a um, tick and flick from the Jabiru website, if you like, just to go through, make sure you get everything. But I'll talk you through it quickly. On the bench here, uh, I've just changed some uh, rusty old clamps. That was for the um, uh, the carby heat muff that goes around the muffler, if you like. And they were just a bit rusty and crappy, so I changed those out. Got four spark plugs, obviously there's two in each cylinder. Uh, with some um, anti seize done the gap, and you change this little end cap as well. 22 thou I run on the NGK spark plugs. Once again, do your own thing, check your manuals. Anti seize, grease. Um, I'm trying, I don't use a drill at all. Fuel filter, um, torque wrench. What I do, I torqued up the rear bank of plugs in the bin. I've changed the oil, oil filter. I just run it in. So the Jabiru 2200, 
holds about 2 point something litres of oil, 2.2 or something like that, 2.3. But the level I run it at, as you can see in a 2 litre, two litre milk bottle, um, it's sort of 1 and 3 quarters full. And spinners off, so a quick rundown if you like of a 100 hourly. Take all the panels off, spats are off, check the wheels and brakes. Uh, the little panels are off, there's a big belly panel that comes off, check your undercarriage bolts, wing attachment uh, for your uh, wing strut. Um, there's a little note in there, I don't know if you can hear that, but the washer actually spins on the back. Uh, there's a note right there, upside down, do not tighten. Uh, those panels just have little tiny, for those familiar with air model aircraft, little ARF type screws, but they do the job. So the airframe wise is basically a big lube. Take off all the panels, lubricate everything, um, check your wing bolts. Once again, there's a warning in there. The security of your wings. It's always a good thing to have your wings on nice and secure. Inside, lubricate all the controls, brake pedals, brake master cylinder, check the oil um, down the back. So there's basically nothing apart from stone damage, if you like, along the fuselage, being a Fully fiberglass and beautifully moulded fuselage. Uh, rudder, just obvious stuff. Three hinges, give them a lube. Lubricate the elevator. Down underneath, or well, this patch will come off for an inspection. There's a bowden cable in there that's secured. Um, underneath here is your elevator mechanism with your trim mechanism. I've just taken it on myself. I've got a little, noticed I've got a in the elevator trim bell crank if you like. The washers around there, one of the stems is missing out of the rivets. The rivets still there but I'll just keep an eye on that. Do like a CFU, carried forward unserviceability. This hasn't been serviced yet so I'll clean off the old grease, put on some new grease. Um, you can see underneath the fuselage it gets pretty dirty so good time to give that a scrub. I'm also going to put some aluminium tape on the fuselage where I've just noticed it's getting a bit black, like burning the fuselage where the exhaust is. That's pretty much the airframe side of it. As far as the engine goes, spinner off, check your prop torque on both the hub and the um, actual attachment bolts. Uh, change the oil, your oil filter. The um, air plenums come off, new spark plugs. Going to do a compression check tonight. Just check everything obvious. Alternator in the back there, all your wiring, fuel, uh, Change your air filter, check all your you know, obvious damage, of all your scat hoses. Now I'm not telling you guys how to do this, follow the book, but just a quick overview for those that are following me along. Uh, wheel spats off, let's take that front half, you got to actually, the jabber wheel will actually sit on its bum on the tail skid when I put it back on, um, because that bolt holds the wheel on, um, it also holds the spat on, so you take the whole wheel off. Uh, just to have a good look in there if you so desire or if you follow the book. Um, right, the uh, rocker covers will come off, hydraulic lifters in this engine. There's also on the Gen 4, there's no cylinder head bolts to uh, talk and worry about. The heads actually screw on. So, yeah, looking pretty good. Um, working my way through there, I've just emptied the um, oil overflow bottle. Uh, that'll go back on. Check your battery wiring. Uh, that is pretty much it. Um, as I said, got the checklist there. I took the muffler off, redid a shroud that goes around it. Is anything that's not quite right? Drag it outside, we'll give it a clean. I just pour fuel all over it. Yep, that's right. Have a guess. It's the best degreaser. Let it air dry. Um, I'll probably give it a run and Take it around the wash point, give it a good wash. I'm a bit pedantic, but there's all my panels over here. Taking the panels off, as you can see, I need to get um, a tub of soapy water and I'll clean up all the spats, the mud. There's the belly panels. You can see the, um, the exhaust gunk. Like I've got one of the best looking jabs out here, um, but I sort of don't climb under there and clean it. Polish the top, that are the bits people don't see, so now's the time to do that. Um, those wing strut covers, tail skid there, top and bottom cowl, 
nose wheel spat, and they're the wing um, wing root panels, if you like. Just on these plenum chambers, I um, <laughs> been wanting to do that for a while. Just whacked a bit of Jabiru white paint in there, probably just help the the bugs splatter a bit better. But it looks nice. I'm just going to run some super glue in there where I've split it. They look good. Gave them a clean up. The uh, non-glamorous part of being a being a pilot, you know, normally the chicks are lined up along the fence there, I guess. It's uh, half past ten at night and uh, just cleaning panels. Getting down and dirty. So that's down dirty on the uh, Jabiru, like I said. Um, don't use that as a hundred hourly guide. Also, yes, I am qualified. Um, you have to check if you can do your own. I'm an L2 Lamy on Jabiru, so good to go. Um, just a quick run around what I'm up to at the moment. Busting at the bit to, or chomp, chomping at the bit to get this back together. However, slow and steady, you know, every 100 hours or 50 hours for the Gen 4 engine. Um, have a good look over it. Um, and it's all going to be safe for another 100 hours. So let's put it back together. Ta-da! Well, almost. It's um, getting a bit cold and lonely out here. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow, so the fun bit. Um, I'll have the spats off, the cow uh, there over here. Um, it's done with the wings still. So, reason being, get the shorts on. Uh, sun's out, gun's out. We'll go and wash those. Give them a good scrub under the tap with some cold water. And press the jabs good. Clean the spats, put them back on. Biggest part of that is just all the panels, taking all the panels off. So move from one jabberoo to back to this guy. So I'll get some flying in tomorrow. Bit of skills enhancement. See if I remember how to do it. Um, first things first, might taxi it around like this to the wash point, wash the aircraft, um, do my leak checks as well. While I do that, taxi back, scrub the cows, cow it up. I'll do a lap or two, then come back. It's just the Air Force in me, do another leak check, make sure everything's still on there. Then we'll cut sick on the, the Wizard of Oz. Kind of catchy that. Might stick with the Wizard of Oz for a while. There we go, she's put back to bed, all polished up. Went for a fly. Um, Jabiru is complete. I think I mentioned in a few other videos there, guys. Um, for me, anyway, I find it very distracting trying to organise um, GoPros in flight video and all that sort of stuff. So I'm only a two year pilot um, at 250 hours now, 200 hours, something like that. Um, I've made a bit of a, a rule for myself. I'm not going to muck around with too many more cameras inside the aircraft, just fly the bloody aeroplane. So, took it for a fly, um, did all my leak checks, so my little process was um, started up, taxied around, washed the aircraft, taxied back, popped the cowl, did my leak checks once I got it up to temp, um, then take it for a fly, best way to dry the aeroplane. So, Jabiru's done. Now, what the whole channel if you like the YouTube channel is about is uh, building a cruiser so we'll get back to um, just about to pull off the cow and get back into building the cruiser so short video there hope you enjoyed that one next one be all about the cruiser thanks for watching